What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to show you the camera performance of the HTC One M9 and in other words this is the review of the camera performance of the HTC One M9. So before I show you the sample photos and the videos, let's check out how the camera looks like. You can uh, turn on the camera by reaching to the application icon and also you can uh, turn on the camera from the lock screen and once you have uh, turned on the camera that's how the interface looks like pretty simple and straightforward this is where you turn on and off the flash and uh, this is the gallery the shutter button the movie record button and the different camera modes selection switch and you have selfie camera panorama bokeh and uh, split capture and also you can install the new which is called the photo booth as well and this is the small information which will tell you how many minutes and the photos you can record and these are the different scenes available you can see the night mode the hdr and you have the manual mode where you can manually set the white balance the exposure the shutter speed iso and the uh, focusing as well and then you have the portrait mode the landscape mode the text mode and the macro mode as well the movie menu will uh, let you change between the normal speed movie the slow motion movie and the fast full HD movie which is basically the 60 frames per second movie. You can uh, change the ISO from auto to manual and uh, manually you can change the ISO from 200 up to 1600 only. This is the exposure value compensation from plus 2 to minus 2 only. And you can change the white balance from auto to the incandescent, the fluorescent the daylight and the cloudy and the last button available is the setting menu if you press that one you will get another menu and you can save all these settings as a custom camera so instead changing the settings all the time just select that camera you can change the crop you can change the makeup level and also you have different options like auto smile capture, voice capture, touch to capture and log focus during recording. I have tested them and they work uh, pretty well. Then you have uh, option to turn on and off the continuous shooting. You can uh, also turn on and off the review duration. Self timer works pretty well. You can also change the resolution of the photo from large to medium and small. Of course you will be changing the megapixels then you have the image adjustments you can change the contrast saturation and also the sharpness of the images coming out of the camera you can change the video quality from 4k to full hd or lower resolution video then you have general settings you can turn on and off the grid you can turn on and off the geotag photos the shutter sound and you can also get the tips and helps and you can reset the camera settings and you can also assign the volume button to do different jobs right now I have assigned them to do the zoom the digital zoom for me beside these uh, camera features HTC One M9 has some editing features in the default gallery app I will discuss them later on let's look at some of the videos and the photos it records a 4k video as you can see on the screen and it can record the 60p video as well and also it records the slow motion video the quality of the 4k video is not all that bad but uh, not great either as well i have seen uh, better video quality and also the problem is the stabilization there is uh, no stabilization available both uh, in terms of uh, hardware and as well as the software Although the motion of the slow motion video is uh, pretty good and it is smooth but the problem is it is only 720p and, and there is no audio recording as well.
let's look at the still photos and in the daylight the photos coming out of uh, HTC One M9 are better than the last year's HTC One M8 and I'm happy to see the improvement however uh, I was hoping actually something more considering the camera is 20 megapixels and I thought it will be even better and uh, I get actually a little bit disappointed not because the photos are uh, bad only because my expectations were very high and I thought uh, finally HTC One has nailed it but uh, I think the photos are not as good uh, as I was hoping for but having said that they are still uh, pretty good and pretty usable I'm comparing these photos here with the Nikon D810 and you can see the colors are a little bit off and some photos are a little bit uh, too warm and I thought uh, the white balance might fix it but I am not able to fix it in the camera some people uh, might believe that I'm comparing uh, the HTC One M9 with a too high standard and uh, there is no comparison between a smartphone with a $650 price tag with a camera and the lens combination which is $5,000 and actually let me tell you this is not the comparison between the camera and the phone the reason why I have included the camera only because to show you that the colors are not accurate and how it uh, compares with the actual scene. I think most people will be happy with the daylight performance coming out of uh, this camera. And this is how the EV works and if you are shooting a high contrast uh, scene you can change it according to your need. And also you can uh, turn on the HDR mode. This is uh, HDR mode and it works uh, pretty well. I have uh, seen uh, also the Samsung phones doing a pretty good job. This is the smile shutter and it works uh, very well as soon as someone is smiling it clicks the photo and this is the defocus or the bokeh effect you can see it works well but you have to be close to the subject around uh, two feet at max but it has uh, some issues as well because it is a software uh, effect only The selfie cam works pretty well and the front facing ultra pixel camera is capable of producing very nice results and this is the split screen uh, selfie as well using the front and the back camera. The panoramas coming out of the phone has still uh, low resolution, less detail and there are at times the problem with the stitching as well. In the low light if you are indoors the camera at times works uh, fine but uh, at times it has uh, too much noise and too much cleaning is going on and there are uh, better camera phones out there which has better low light capability. This phone is actually really struggling and begging for the optical image stabilization and it is uh, very bad of HTC that it has not put the optical stabilization in the camera because these days every modern phone is coming out uh, with the optical image stabilization. Many shots actually will uh, come out blurry using the HTC One M9 in the low lighting conditions because of no optical image stabilization. Optical image stabilization also helps to reduce the lowest shutter speed further and you can uh, get the cleaner images as well and the HTC One M9 at the moment is showing too much uh, noise. The bokeh effect is there if you get really close to the subjects. And again you can see the noise level is pretty high and uh, I have used the night mode uh, in these uh, shots, some of these shots as well and I haven't seen any difference or improvement from the original photo. So night mode to me is uh, kind of useless because uh, it shows uh, very small to no improvement. The flash photos coming out of HTC One M9 are okay but uh, the level of detail is not that good uh, and uh, to me this is kind of strange. And these are the couple of macro shots using the HTC One M9. Let me show you some of the editing options available in the gallery. Let's check out the essentials first and uh, you can uh, see there are tools available for the cropping, for rotating, for uh, flipping 
and straightening the horizons and also some filters are available you can apply different sort of filters and if your photos has uh, red eyes you can uh, use the red eye removal tool then you have uh, flare flare will provide you the frames you can apply different uh, borders on your images and also the draw will uh, let you draw certain things on your photos You can change the color of your drawing and also you can change the thickness as well. Let's check out the effects menu and uh, you can actually apply different sort of shapes on your uh, images and you can uh, use certain images as a shape on your uh, other images as well and you can use uh, prismatic shapes also. I'm not so sure why you want to do that but there are actually softwares available already which can do that and if you are into such kind of thing then uh, you can download those uh, softwares. You don't need uh, HTC One M9 for that. And you have uh, option for multiple exposures where you can combine two photos uh, and it will act like a multiple exposure shot using the camera. And then you have uh, different uh, type of uh, elements effects available and uh, they look uh, very cool on the phone screen and uh, I like that. Although you might uh, question about the utility of uh, such effects while uh, sharing your photos on the social forums or the Facebook or Google Plus or Twitter wherever you want to share. After this uh, elements thing, then you have the face fusion also available where uh, you can actually combine two photos to make the face fusion between uh, yourself or somebody else. If you have uh, taken uh, portraits, then you have a separate edit menu where uh, you can edit the portraits where you can do the skin touching and you can uh, reduce the shine of the flash and different sort of things. So the conclusion is that the HTC One M9 has a better camera from last year but uh, it still have uh, some deficiencies and it's still not a perfect camera especially in the low lighting conditions and the video can be better. So guys this is the camera review of the HTC One M9. I hope that you have uh, liked the video and you will find this video useful in evaluating the camera performance of the HTC One M9. So if you have liked the video make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video. Take care. See you. Bye.